All right, this video we're going to discuss the difference between population parameters and sample statistics. So let's define a parameter first. A parameter is a numerical measurement describing some characteristic of a population and computed from all the population measurements. So a parameter is derived from all of the data, right, of interest to the investigator, right? So for example, a population average or mean, the average obtained from every item in the population is a parameter, right? So if I had the average GPA for all FIU statistics majors, that would be considered a population parameter if what I'm interested in is the grade point averages for FIU statistics majors, right? So the average GPA for all of those majors, right? That average or mean is referred to as a population parameter or simply as a parameter, right? Compare that to a sample statistic. A statistic is a numerical measurement, again, describing some attribute of a sample drawn from the population. The big difference here is this word sample, right? It's describing a characteristic or an attribute of a sample as opposed to a characteristic or attribute of a population, right? So it's talking about the sample data as opposed to the population. So here's an example. The average mean GPA for a portion of FIU statistics majors an example of a statistic because the average is derived from a subset of the population. So instead of looking at every FIU statistics major, you're only looking at a subset or a small portion of them. You calculate an average GPA for that group, and that average is a statistic because it doesn't describe an attribute of the population. It describes an attribute of the sample, right, or a characteristic of the sample. Okay, so the difference between statistics and parameters is essentially the difference between where they come from, right? So remember, sample and statistic go together, two S's, right? Statistic, sample, and then parameters come from populations, so P and P, right? Parameters, population, statistics come from samples. All right, so which value below is a statistic and why? So we have on the left the average weight for a random selection of eight men from our class versus the average weight for all of the men in our class so if I'm interested in the weights of males in my class, all the males, then an average that's obtained from all the men would be the parameter, right? So a population parameter in that case is the average weight for all the men. And the sample statistic is the average weight for a random selection of eight men, right? So if I randomly selected eight men and I weighed them, I got an average for that group, that would be a sample statistic, right? We'd actually call that a sample average or a sample mean for the group of eight men. Now that is not the population average, right? The population average is obtained by looking at every single man in our class, right? Get all the men together, weigh them all, then take all those weights and average them, and now you have the population parameter, right? Okay, so same thing, which, below is a which of the values below is the statistic and why? The percentage of people who say they will vote this year is 73% based on a sample of 1,000 U.S. citizens. So just think about where this number comes from, right? 73%. It comes from a sample of 1,000 citizens. Because it comes from a sample, it is a sample statistic. If it came from all the U.S. citizens, right, if we surveyed all of them and asked them whether or not they plan to vote this year, then we'd have a population parameter, right? All right, in this case, this one is a parameter because it says last year, 64.2% of all registered voters voted in the election for governor. So this can be obtained, right, and they presumably went out and did that. They went and looked at the voting polls, right, and they, or the rolls, sorry, and they looked at how many people, you know, signed in saying they voted that day, and then they compared it to the list of all the people who were eligible to vote and determined that 64.2% of all registered voters voted, right? So the key word here is this word all, right, that they looked at the two lists, looking at all the potential voters and said that, hey, 64.2% of them voted, right? So that is a population parameter, right? That is the true proportion of people or true percentage of people who voted last year. It isn't based on a subset or a survey of some small portion of the voting population. It's based on the records for the entire eligible voting population.